So let's talk about depth next. I'm using a linear scanner on my model's neck and I've picked the thyroid preset. And you'll notice that my maximum depth, which means the maximum depth that I can image with my settings the way they are right now is at 3.7. Now I have my carotid artery here and if I want to center that carotid artery better on my image, I can decrease my depth. So now I'm seeing less anatomy at the bottom of the image, but that's okay. I'm interested in the carotid artery, so I want to center that. Now if my depth is too deep and I swipe up and all of a sudden my carotid artery is this tiny little structure up here, yes, I'm scanning at seven centimeters depth, but there really isn't any anatomy that I'm interested in that's at seven centimeters. So optimize your image with the area of interest centered on your image. And that'll probably give you the best results. And so now if I go into a facial aesthetics preset, and I'm gonna look at the chin, for example, and I look for the facial artery, I can see it in the middle of my screen, but it's pretty tiny. So let's center that a little bit more by decreasing my depth. And now I can see that vessel in the center of the image. If my depth was too deep, well now I can hardly see anything on my image except this tiny little black dot, the jawbone and a shadow behind it. So get into the habit of adjusting your depth to optimize the region of interest that you want to see and have it centered on your screen. And that'll be best for learning anatomy, for doing procedures, or treating complications.